If you or a loved one are struggling with type 2 diabetes, you should visit the link in the description below. This clinically proven drug-free program lowers blood sugar to a normal level and can completely reverse type 2 diabetes within just a few weeks. Here's today's video. The question, can a diabetics patient eat rice or not? Answer by Victor Sudario. Yes, they can but with caution especially in the amount of rice per serving and also the total amount per day. Rice is an extremely nutritious cereal which provides a lot of carbohydrates and delivers high calories. However, since a diabetic has either no insulin, or may not secrete enough insulin to properly control his glucose level, through which all carbohydrates become metabolized into, then excessive eating of rice may cause a diabetic person to suffer two medical emergencies, DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis or HKNS, hyperosmolar non-ketotic syndrome, both of which are life-threatening. Included also are the chronic illness which may occur due to prolonged poor long-term glucose control such as coronary artery disease, peripheral arterial disease, immunocompromised state and other conditions which may predispose a known diabetic to suffer multisystemic illnesses such as heart attacks, strokes, kidney failures and many others too many to mention. If you want to eat the correct amount of rice per meal without being afraid of losing good long-term glucose control. Then you will have to consult with an endocrinologist slash diabetologist who will refer you to a dietitian who will help you in making at least three sets of meals per day that will else show the correct amount of rice and other food that you can consume that will help you maintain proper glucose control without sacrificing the quality of life. We don't want you to be so hungry all the time afraid of eating and then binge eating after you can't control your hunger anymore. Answer by Subra Velu. I am neither a doctor nor a dietitian. I was a pre-diabetic and now reversed my condition such a way that rice doesn't cause blood sugar spike. Check out below website which lists the glycemic index GI, of several foods, including white rice and brown rice. Surprisingly the site lists white rice GI only just 5 points above the GI of brown rice. If you can, avoid both. However, in my personal experience, I have tested my blood sugar after eating different types of rice, parboiled rice, cooked raw rice non parboiled rice, brown rice, Kerala pea, Uttarazi, a specific variety of red rice, biryani from few restaurants. To my body, I found the non parboiled rice is the worst. Biryani, basmati, is the best. My blood sugar never exceeded 121 after eating little bit of biryani. So you check your blood sugar by test eating different types of rice and the way they are cooked, pressure cooker versus open vessel, biryani versus white rice, pulao versus samba rice etc. Going by this website, both brown rice and white rice are worse than white sugar, sucrose, in GI. The only item that is worse than white rice is bread, irrespective of the color of the bread or wholemeal bread. Potato, instant oats porridge and cereals are also highest in the GI scale. Glycemic index for 60 plus foods, Harvard Health, answer by, Steph Pedersen, a diabetic person, afflicted with diabetes, can eat, white, rice but in moderation, as opposed to Asiatic moderation, if at all. Brown rice is to be preferred, however, due to its lower glycemic index. For type as more caution is required. In all cases, testing with glucosometer can inform how a particular person responds to various intake amounts of rice. 